Praise God, everybody. How you guys doing? I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Give him praise. Give him honor. This is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I just wanted to get up on here and let you know I am well. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to tell y'all, everyone that has been so supportive, oh my God, the support, the love, the cards, the, the texts, the blessings, um, monetary, whatever the case may be. Oh, I just thank God for everybody. Um, <laughs> there's a certain peace I have. You know, I, I, I'm going to share it with you. I shared it with my class. I shared it with my daughter. And I'm going to share it with you. And I love the way that God loves his people. God is good. Yes, I will not lie. I am hurting. That's my dad. And we had our little whatever. But that was my baby. I was his baby. Point blank in the story. And, um... But I have peace, and I'm going to tell y'all why I have peace, okay? I'm going to tell you why I have peace right now. Um, 3.30 on the 18th, no, the, that morning, on the, actually, yeah, the morning of the 18th, 3.30 a.m. I was, first of all, the hospital kept calling me every two hours, so asking me, is in a DNR? Dad signed a DNR on his own. Now, I could have overpowered it, but I didn't because, no, I don't wanted him to do what he wanted to do. So, anywho, about 3.30 a.m., I heard the Lord said, Today, he would be with me in paradise. And I was just like, you know, just sitting up there listening to the Lord. And I'm like, okay, all right. So when it happened, I was like, you were serious, you know, which I know God is serious. Don't get it twisted. And so um, you can never be prepared, you know. I I've been known, but you can never be prepared. But I just thank God of the relationship that I have with God, that I trust him. I trust him despite of what he has done. Despite, you know how Job said, though he slay me, yet I will trust in him. You know, point blank in the story, because it's a lot going on. You know, if y'all really following me, you know, my aunt died, my uncle died. His brother just died in January. So, but these are things that God told me in every capacity. So I'm just on here to tell you, God is still good. I love him. I'm going to serve him to the day I die. I'm okay. Yes, I have my moments. Come, um, I, I was in a post office yesterday, and I just, I don't know what happened. I was like, oh, my God, am I doing this now? <laughs> but God, and he was at peace. He was at peace, and just knowing, <sighs> nah, I'm not good. Some things you can't share, but just put it this way. Dad made it. Y'all ain't ready for me. Dad made it. Remember I told y'all that he said the sinner's prayer? Dad made it. He made peace with God, and that's all. That's all in the story. He's with God. He ain't got to worry about hurting no more. When I went and saw him last week, he was crying. He said, I'm hurting. I'm tired. So right when I heard that, I already knew. Because God ain't going to let you, especially when you're a child of God, God is not going to let you suffer long. That's just point blank in the story. And Dad said, I'm hurting. And I'm tired, my baby. And I said, I know. Mm -hmm. And so the love we have will always be forever and ever and ever. And I'm definitely his daughter because I'm a soldier. Don't get it twisted. And I'm going to say something. My daughter probably say, Mama, you shouldn't be saying that. Okay. I love everybody. Y'all know I love everybody. Don't think I'm weak right now in this moment. Don't come at me foul. And what I mean by that is, have that same energy when dad was alive. If you know we didn't fool, it's cool. You ain't got to do that fake love stuff. I'm sorry. My daughter told me not to say that, but that's me. Y'all know I'm going to keep it 100 I love you, but we ain't got to do that fake love. <laughs> you can stay over there and I'm going to stay over here. Y'all know I'm going to keep it 100. I, I don't know how to. I don't know how to do all that. And I love people. Please don't take this the wrong way. I love people. I, I have a heart of gold, but I don't do fake. We ain't got to do all that. <laughs> That's too much energy. <laughs> it's not even real. So um, on that note, our plans are to bring dad's body back to Louisiana. So we're making arrangements and things of that nature. I will let everybody know. You know, again, thank y'all for the love. I mean, strangers, y'all have been really showing me a lot of love. And I just, that's God. That's God. I'm going to say that again. That's God. And I thank you just for that, if nothing else. Just to, you know, that you're praying for me. That you understand you know, thank you so much. Those that take the time out, that mean that means so much to me. It really does. So I'm not gonna stay long on here because you know, I don't want to repeat myself, right? But um, I'm okay. All is well. All is well. Yes, yes. 
And, and I'm going to tell you something, though. Remember, for those that be listening, I told y'all that God told me I would have a, a 1996 where I lost four people in a row. Remember that? So y'all understand. For those that have a, a, a ear to hear, you understand what I'm saying. But I feel a power. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. I feel a power. I feel a power. Y'all know the anointing that God is producing through this pain. <laughs> it's, it's heavy. Mm -hmm. Remember I told you I feel like I'm in my pain and my purpose at the same time. And it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Mm -hmm. So, hallelujah. I love you too. I love you too, Gwen. I love everybody. I really do. I love y'all. And I thank you all. Keep praying and I'm going to pray too because that's all we got. Because now we're still in war. It's still a war now. And let me tell you something. The enemy tries to hit you when you're weak. So that's why I'm not going to lie to y'all. God said, get up now. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God. I, I, I was crying. I ain't going to lie. I was I was broken. Still am. I ain't going to lie. But I heard God saying, I get up. Get up, soldier. Fix yourself up today. Get up. Hallelujah. He said, get up now. You can't stay. It's to get up. You know, I'm reminded when David's son died, that before he was, you know, in ashes and he was praying and he was, he said, but once the son was dead, he said, I get up and do what you got to do. Hallelujah. That's, that's what time it is. Hallelujah. <laughs> That's real. We don't get to just stay down. We got to get up. Because that's what that's what being empowered is about. Especially if you say you're a child of God. Hallelujah. So I just want to touch base with you all today. God bless you. I might get back on here. Uh, don't quote me. You know. Um, but God bless you all. I love you all. Y'all know what time it is. Hold on. I got to do it. Y'all know I got to do it. Roll our soldiers. Because that is truly who we are. Let's walk like it. Let's act like it. Let's talk like it. Ah, what? Nothing change. Just got better with time. God bless you all. Much love.